Hey folks, this is Patrick with Pisgah Banjos. I'm gonna show you how to string up a banjo today. Uh, we happen to have a possum, 11 inch possum model in cherry, um, and it has not been strung up yet. So we're gonna do that right now. I already have the tail piece on. Uh, this is a traditional no knot tail piece, and it floats on top of the tension hoop so you can adjust this tailpiece nut and bolt to where it just sits right on top of the the tension hoop so the first thing I want to do is string up the middle string the G string these are our middle uh, or medium gauge his Gabanjo claw hanger strings. So what I'm doing is, here I'll do this again, I'll, I'm gonna thread this through the hole on the G peg. So I'm gonna bring it to where there's a little bit of slack. I'm holding tension on the string at the tail piece, but then creating a little bit of slack up here at the headstock. And so what I wanna do, I want enough slack to where I can wrap it around a few times. Oh. There we go. So I have it wrapped around a few times. And so now what I'm gonna do is bend that excess string up and start winding the string. Now I want the string to come off the bottom of the post because I want a, as sharp an angle here as possible at the nut. So now I got the string on, the tail piece is straight, the string is centered on the fingerboard. Uh, everything looks good. So now what I like to do after this point is uh, check my bridge, figure out what bridge height I'm gonna use uh, and that's all dependent on a number of factors, but I can get into that later. Um, so this is a standard scale. This is a 26 and 3 16th scale. So what I want to do, I want to start with a 5 8 bridge to see if uh, that's going to work. So I'm going to pop that on and then I want, I'm just going to take my tape measure real fast and measure. Now notice I'm putting this bridge at a slight angle, and that's to compensate for the string width. The further down it goes, the thicker the string gets, and so you want to compensate that just ever so slightly. What was that measurement? 26 and uh, 3 sixteenths. So I want to check my action. Um, I have a ruler I can check at the 12th fret. Um, I'm right about just over an eighth of an inch sitting on top of the fret to the bottom of the, the string. So it's a little, it's a tad high. However, when I get the string tension on and get the rest of the strings on, that bridge is going to sink down a little bit and probably be exactly where I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and string up the other strings. Uh, now at this point it doesn't really matter which string you put on, but I'm going to do them in the same exact method. Wrap it around a few times, point it up. Uh, and you notice um, I want the strings to go uh, in the middle of the pegs. So the, the low D string and the G string, they're going to come up and starting to wrap around from right to left. And then we're going to do the opposite on the other two pegs from left to right. Again, I like to pop this up, uh, these excess 
the excess part of the string just out of the way and straight up. Um, all right, two more strings to get. Fifth string. Now the fifth string is a little bit different because we're dealing with the fifth string peg. Um, I like to wrap it around maybe three, four times. So I'm going to give myself a little bit more slack here. There we go. I was able to wrap it around four times. I want to pop the excess straight up out of the way just like I did the others. At this point, my action is looking pretty good, so I'm going to stick with the 5 8 bridge. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clip the excess. Some people, some people leave the excess until the banjo is all tuned up, which is fine. I just, for my personal preference, I just go ahead and clip it so that, so that it's all out of the way. And I try to clip it as close to the peg as possible. Uh, I forgot my tuner. Let me grab my tuner real fast. So here's my trusty snark. So I'm going to tune it to standard G. Um, I like to start with my low string. Get it to D. Then I do my first string. Then I do my G string. Get my B string. So now to to, to check to make sure that my bridge is absolutely perfect, what I want to do is check the octave, I'm sorry, uh, yes, check the, the octave at the 12th fret, so. So I have it in tune, open, so now I'm going to press the 12th fret. It's a little flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift this bridge up just slightly. Try this again. You have to retune it every time. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my low string, my low D. stretch for a while uh, and then retune it but I'm pretty sure uh, this is where my bridge placement is going to go so now what I can do is just put a little mark on the 
on the back of the bridge and we should be good to go. Patrick, um, if you ha have a banjo that's already strung up and you want to change the strings, do you recommend doing them all at once like you just did? Uh, people have different preferences with that. Uh, that's a great question. You can do it all at once. Uh, or you can do one string at a time. If you're not sure where your bridge placement is, uh, or if it's in the correct location, I would recommend uh, starting from scratch, taking your bridge off and doing the method that I just showed you. But if you know that your bridge is dialed in and your intonation is correct, then you can do one string at a time. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> to get uh, packed up and shipped out. This one in particular is going to uh, Denver Folklore Society in Colorado. It's, uh, this is one of our, our fine retailers. So. Um, and we'll try to post more videos uh, as folks have questions about uh, maintenance and uh, how to basically take care of your banjo so that it sees a long, happy life. So thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.